um, welcome to all another video on urban hydrology so in this video we are going to learn about uh, the uh, how can we design the the detention pond sizing and the design of the outlet structures okay and we will learn um, the uh, the concept behind the detention pond design okay and uh, in this example we are using the hydraulic toolbox uh, software that is open source software developed by FHWA okay and uh, I brought you a case study example so where we are uh, uh, proposing a detention pond okay we will do the calculation okay we will do the calculation of the runoff volume okay and based on this runoff volume uh, and uh, using hydraulic toolbox we will design this uh, uh, outlet structures that is that there will be two outlet structure which uh, i will show you in this case study example okay so before that let's uh, go into this uh, detention pond like how it behaves and uh, wh what is the equation behind the uh, detention pond design okay so can you see this picture on my right okay let i'll bring it down and make it bigger okay so let me yeah so let me move it here so can you see this is a simple uh, figure of the detention pond okay in the pond from the uh, from the uh, all of this uh, storm network the in uh, the inflow runoff will be coming so in the form of inflow hydrograph into our pond okay and uh, and finally this uh, runoff water will be going through this uh, outflow pipe so that is outflow discharge okay so we if you want to calculate uh, what is the size of this pond sizing of the pond we should have to know like how much volume of the runoff which is going out okay so if i keep that in simple equation uh, so what so let me go down here and put this image here okay so simple equation if i put that here so the whatever the uh, the change which is occurring in the pond is a uh, uh, the subtraction between the uh, inflow hydrograph and the outflow hydrograph so if i keep that simple in this equation so the variation of the storage with respect to time is equals to the difference between the inflow and the outflow okay so what it says is that the what is the what uh, the variation in this pond storage area is nothing but the difference between this inflow and the outflow and it, this change is uh, uh, determined with respect to time okay variation in the time and if I can put that with a single equation that is modified pulse equation so it is based on this uh, uh, this may derived from this formula here that is from the storage formula so the storage is nothing but the storage in a pond is nothing but the variation sorry dif difference between inflow minus outflow okay so this is the main formula which works in the um, hydraulic toolbox for um, modeling of this detention pond okay so that is uh, i1 plus i2 in bracket plus 2 s1 uh, di divided by delta t minus o1 is equal to uh, in bracket 2 s uh, subscript 2 delta t plus o2 okay uh, so this i1 and i2 is the nothing but the inflow which are coming in it i1 i1 is the current time and the future time okay and whatever you can see can see is the s1 this is the storage volume in this uh, pond okay and delta t is the variation in the time the, the variation in the time is the the time difference between the i1 and i2 okay and same way this o1 and o2 is the outflow outflow discharge okay at the time o1 o subscript 1 is nothing but the current time and o2 is the uh, future time o subscript 2 okay the same way the s1 is the storage in the 
time uh, s1 is the storage in the current time and s2 is the storage in the uh, in the future time okay so based on this they have developed this uh, uh, this uh, uh, modified pulse equation from this uh, uh, general storage equation okay that is uh, this change in storage is equals to inflow minus outflow okay let's come to our case study k case, uh, case study example okay so i have a, a catchment over which development has done okay and uh, for the uh, post developmental runoff peak runoff it is uh, uh, it is 3.69 and uh, peak discharge for pre development is the uh, is the uh, 3q max okay if you come to this runoff volume so pre developmental runoff volume is 18000 q max sorry uh, meter cube and the runoff volume for the post development is uh, 27200 okay and i have this uh, inflow hydrograph this inflow hydrograph is nothing but this post developmental peak discharge hydrograph okay the peak is 3.69 okay then catchment area is 0.5 this is that hydrograph okay so this is that inflow hydrograph and it is this is, it is in, in the on my left in the form of table okay so let's first understand how much uh, volume uh, of the pond we have to we have to uh, develop okay or uh, to design so uh, in general in uh, USA and in Middle East so we have to design this pond uh, runoff volume should be uh, the deduction from the post developmental runoff to the pre developmental runoff okay so this post developmental runoff here is 27200 okay and the pre developmental runoff volume is 18000 uh, uh, cubic meters okay so this is my the designed runoff volume that is around 9200 uh, meter cube okay uh, and so based on this I will uh, uh, I will calculate and randomly fix the sizes uh, of this uh, 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 detention pond what would be its length width and depth okay so my section of proposal would be at it would be a prop uh, trapezoidal uh, pond okay so I will have I have shown you the picture before I'll show you that once show it to show you that once again. Okay, this is the trapezoidal channel section. Okay, and this is from the top view, or you can say the plan view. Okay, it is from the section. It looked like this on my top, and the bottom it is the plan view. Okay, so uh, so based on the uh, the total volume of the runoff which which has to store is we will have to calculate. Okay, we'll fix the length. This is the length width and depth okay so first i will fix my depth so i will consider my depth as 3.5 meters okay and uh, length as 65 meter and uh, depth i will keep it 40 okay let's calculate this volume length depth and uh, uh, length, width, and depth. Okay, uh, 65 into 40 into 3.5. So it is around 9001. It is slightly lesser than is in runoff volume. So we have to increase it. I will make it 42. Okay. So if I make it 42, it is slightly more than the our uh, the size is slightly more than the design volume. Okay. So this looks fine. Okay. So what we are going to do in our uh, uh, hydraulic toolbox, we will fix these sizes. Okay, they will initially consider this size for the uh, design of the detention pond. Okay, and we will calculate uh, the we will calculate the outlay structures. Okay, we'll propose outlay structures. Okay, when my condition for the outlay structure would be this peak discharge what you can see this is a pre-developmental peak discharge which I want to make it a uh, highlight I will make it a highlight here ok so this peak discharge of 3 uh, Qmax that I will keep as a constant outflow 
from my detention pipe okay from my detention pipe i will uh, so this uh, 3q max of the pre developmental peak discharge will be uh, draining out of this uh, of the proposed detention uh, or this outlet structure of this detention uh, pond okay so this uh, pipe will be discharging of uh, outlet discharge of 3q max that is of uh, i am proposing this uh, uh, outlet structures okay uh, so in this uh, case study i am proposing uh, two types of uh, uh, pond outlet structures so first one is the stand pipe and the second one is the riser pond riser okay so stand pipes so stand pipe is a structure so you have seen here uh, in the uh, in these uh, artificial lakes or some detention pond so it is something like this so which is having the grates on the top which uh, uh, whenever the uh, water exceeds uh, above this uh, 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 grid level grid level it uh, immediately uh, drops to in, drop into this pipe okay so it act as a emergency escape for the uh, in case of uh, severe storm event okay when the when the depth of the water exceeds uh, or uh, near uh, where uh, reaches to near to this crest of this uh, uh, pond area so in that case the stand pipe act as a emergency escape structure for the detention of the runoff okay and same the uh, figure with combination of a riser and a stand pipe here on my, the next figure on my right okay so this uh, regarding the stand pipe i mentioned earlier okay and the riser is act as a uh, uh, the detention uh, structure for the, the, the discharge of the outlet runoff from the pond okay so this you can see it is a kind of a opening structure okay and and regarding this riser it uh, it solves the uh, it solves uh, the orifice equation okay you know this uh, uh, general orifice equation from the uh, uh, from the uh, fluid mechanics elementary okay and regarding the stand pipe it solves similar equation as the siphon okay and so let's move to the um, hydraulic toolbox software in the next part of the video so there we are go modeling this detention pond uh, 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 design along with the proposal of this outlet structures okay so thank you for watching